Hi guys, can you tell me what is the output of these three lines? I'm going to give you five seconds. So guys, let me run this one. Yeah, you see first we got true and then false and then true. Weird, right? So let me tell you rule number one. In case of comparison operators like greater than or less than, always remember that if both operands are strings, then JavaScript will compare them in lexicographical order. That means it will compare character by character. So here first it will take eight and it will compare it with one. The Unicode value of 8 is greater than the Unicode value of 1. Hence, 8 is obviously greater than 1. Hence, it will return true. It won't even care about other one guys. And second rule is, if the both are not strings, then directly it will convert them into numbers. So here, 11 is a number. It will convert this string 8 into a number. Hence, it will become 8. 8 greater than 11, which will become false. Okay, now commit to third one, same guys, minus one is a number and here we have an empty array. We can't convert array to number directly. So first it will convert it to string, which is empty string. And again, empty string will be equal to zero, hence zero greater than minus one, which is true.